like if you wear Osiris shoes and wear <laughs> what is your average jail Pokemon. time? <laughs> Osiris shoes. I, I guarantee you, kids who wore Osiris shoes in middle school have done more drugs, have had more sexual partners, lower life satisfaction. Oh, hold on there. Go back. Yeah, go wait back a minute. One. It sounds yeah. like Osiris shoes just make you. I don't know. This still sound pretty like a plus. <laughs> this just in. Osiris shoes make you better. Aaron's like, when taking Adderall and wearing Osiris shoes, Ascension. What do we think about them getting rid of the gold standard? Well, I, I, I remember my like fraternity brother like explaining it to me at one point. He was like, how like yeah, the, the gold standard? The gold, yeah, the US used to have the gold standard, and then, then uh, what George crypto Bush was he trying to sell you? No, he was <laughs> not a crypto bro. This guy was a loser. Um, so the only reason I can think of someone yeah, bringing say, up the gold the standard. standard. I mean, I liked him a lot. We had we had some great conversations, but. Was the gold standard good? Was it bad? If it was good, why would we get rid of it? Like, I don't know. So I was hoping you guys would know more and like be able to like school me, but I, I, I would not have the slightest clue. I can give you an Aaron answer. Okay, let's try. I like I those. those. I, I like do those. like those. Yes, I'm with Quinn on this. This should be stunning. So basically, in in the age in the age of a global economy, yeah, where uh, I can send. I can send someone like PayPal money and uh, like across the world in Indonesia, they can take my PayPal money and go buy whatever they want. Right. Like uh -huh. in the world yeah. of instant transactions and digital money, the gold standard is absolutely pointless. There is just no point to it. Um, okay. Back in the day, like when we had like Winchester rifles and fucking horses we don't have those anymore. Like, Keep them horses? Yeah, yeah, those, those don't are exist. So old. Those don't. Those aren't. God, I, I wish I could have been around to see a all horse. Right. All right. Before those Scandinavians ate them all. Eric, Good my dick is going in your ass. meatball joke for you. Right. I'd love to see you try. It's so tight. There's no. There's way literally do. nothing you could do about it, Eric. There, you could do zero things if I decided that's. Uh, what I, I could do a lot of things. It just wouldn't work. <laughs> You missed Aaron's whole point. Winchester you didn't rifles put the were the snail down. Winchester rifles were the original Why crypto. Why did you put the snail down? It says I wasn't paying attention, Eric. Eric, I thought you were yelling at me. Oc Occam's razor. I thought he was yelling at me. Aaron, I don't think the gold standard is inherently um, incompatible with our modern financial system. I mean, it is because the government just like prints money willy nilly. But um, <laughs> it, you know, like. When you send a dollar on PayPal, it just does correspond to a real paper U.S. dollar somewhere. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you could you could theoretically deposit all of your PayPal money into a checking account and then go to the bank and be like, "I'd like yeah. some money." Yes, you could, but not say every, that, right? but the money. Store, so here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. I think this is important to to like some money to find the nuance, right? Like, not every digital dollar is accounted for in paper dollars. There is no bank that's like, okay, we know that there's one billion digital dollars that exist in the world total. Now, in this bank is a billion digital, uh, is a billion physical dollars that at any point John Hammond could exchange a digital dollar for a physical dollar. You've lost me so hard. Yeah, right? is, I've heard it's it's the standard is absolutely <laughs> R-worded. That's why. I, I've, I've heard of that physical dollars. That's that NFT collection, right? Uh. There's no such thing as a physical dollar on Crypto Island. Physical dollars. Um. All right, John. What were you saying? What? You were saying you're wrong, Aaron. Um. Yeah, because uh, everybody could take all their money out of PayPal and exchange it for real dollars. Okay. Yes. But the idea of the gold standard is this: is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm. This is an error, in fact. The, I thought the idea of the gold standard was. There is okay. You have a dollar, and this dollar can be exchanged at any time. You can go to a bank or a federal whatever reserve yeah. of money, and you can say, "Hey, I would like this dollar to be exchanged for its equivalent in gold." Okay, yeah, and that, that is a one-to-one -one transaction. Yeah, right. That's what Imagine it was. if everybody at one time. So that would mean that there's an equal amount of gold to represent the equal amount of dollars. Right. Uh, is right, that fair? Yes, is that, is that right? I have no okay. idea. That's what the gold standard was, is that every dollar that is in circulation is backed up by a physical amount of gold. Yeah. Imagine if everybody at one point now just decided, I want to just liquidate my bank accounts and just put it all in cash. 
The, not enough hilarious. cash exists to do that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The funniest way this economy could collapse is everyone just deciding. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I, could, I could probably use a little more cash right now. <laughs> Like Aaron, you know the the, the banks. So you, you might be correct in that the banks do not necessarily have every single dollar in liquid assets. So you know paper dollars. God damn um, dollar. But that's not as to say that the money doesn't exist. Hey, why, somewhere why do that vaults a bank have to be it. watertight? No, like banks no. are legally required to keep around the money. Eric, John, I think you're that, fundamentally that's just what happens misunderstanding every single the scenario day. here. All right. Yeah, and the economy doesn't collapse. So Every American in the nation decides that they want to get all of their money in cash. Not enough cash paper there? money exists to do this. Aaron, what the hell is a digital dollar? What the fuck do you mean what is a digital dollar? It's a fucking number. Okay, when I get my check from Neurostar and they say, Aaron, here is your money. Do you think that the fucking bank is like, oh, Aaron got paid $2,000. We better print out $2,000 to keep in the Aaron bank account in the bank just in case he decides to come here and grab it. We better print out these $2,000. Do you really think they do that? Oh, I love I love friendly what? arguments. I love I love these arguments over stupid like ideas or hypotheticals. <laughs> these give me life. I love these. Oh my god. It's, especially when it's when it's with Aaron facts. It oh it just makes god. it so much better. <laughs> Sorry, I was feel myself watching first. moments IRL there. His, his Aaron's point is the I was bank kidding. Is the Eric, I was kidding. Was, uh, thank you. Thank you. Aaron, you're an idiot fraud as usual. <laughs> <laughs> what is non-bank money? Money not in the bank. Money not of the bank. Not of this bank. Dude, this goes so deep. I'm curious if Aaron actually is right here. Um... Not because he actually knew that. I absolutely am, it. and it's because I did know it. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's your, what's your source, bro? Aaron started his statement by saying, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Literally? No. No, I didn't. And if you play back the stream, you'll never find me that saying that. does not that. seem like something you think you, it, you think, like, a PhD like, candidate's ever, like, opened their thesis presentation with that? Correct me if I'm no, wrong. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> goes into a three-hour presentation. Wow. Over 5% yeah. of U.S. households don't have a bank account. That's interesting. What? Over what percent? Five. And then 20% have bank accounts, but still use, like, um... Credit exclusively? Like, f other financial services, like money orders, check cashing services, and payday loans. Okay, well, those people are just being manipulated into, like, forever being poor if you're going to payday loans. Uh, no, I mean, why don't they just work harder so that they don't have to have payday loans, right? That's why right. They just, they just need just to get a like, higher salary. Money. You know, yeah. Money. Yeah. Yeah. It's really not that hard. See, here's here's, good here's the her, blueprint to success. Um, make more money and don't spend it. Now, you might be saying to yourself, Aaron, how'd you get so smart? Uh, I didn't. Aaron, how'd you get so smart in this age of digital currencies that are totally real? Because I went to Geneva High School. Runs Maybe use your uh, Geneva coffee money to buy a pair of bootstraps ride. and pull yourself up by them. Well, let's 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 not kid ourselves. Yeah, Steve he, er, he, Steve Erin was so hurt by uh, your comment, Griffin, that he was like, "I'm gonna go play with this manta rays." He is well known for the way he died. Obviously, he's well known before that. Yeah, but like, but like uh, I mean, I guess it's a death very fitting of his profession. Absolutely. Can't think of anybody. Else it would be like, like if a banker died from overwork, having to print all of the dollars that all the American <laughs> citizens were trying to withdraw all at once. It'd be like a guy Probably who's like, time, like, <laughs> like, it'd be like a guy at the circus whose whole act is like getting shot by bullets and not dying, getting hit by like a car what? and dying. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Like, is someone's probably act as they get shot and live? Like, oh, they're oh, probably oh, like, guys, oh, oh, like he's bleeding. My friend is going to point this assault rifle at my head. Okay. It might be what you get. 
What are these doing in the forest? You guys seen that one? Why does every American citizen want all of their cash liquidated right now? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> the gold standard was balls. Imagine being an engineer and <laughs> fundamentally misunderstanding what the gold standard is. You're starting to sound like a valley girl there for a second. <laughs> Here, you just you just asked me what the gold standard was 15 minutes ago. You're like, uh, so is it like correct that the... the yeah, 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 he's a, he's yeah, a yeah, quick yeah. learner. He's a quick so, learner. But the difference is, I was right and you're wrong. You get fucked. <laughs> Por favor, hace ruidos con tus manos. <laughs> Make noise with your hands. Is that what you just said? <laughs> They're in the technology you're thinking about is not real yet. It's in the works from the Federal Reserve. It's called a central bank digital currency, but they haven't actually made it. Yet. <laughs> I think I think you just read a headline on this and you hopped in the Discord and you're like, "Yo, they got digital money." Dude, I do not think it takes a fucking genius to understand the, the. I could explain this to a three year old. The idea. <laughs> yeah, because a three year old just looks at you no, not saying no, anything. No, can't talk. The idea that more money exists uh, digitally on a fucking number on a screen. That Do you think every time a dollar gets deposited into a bank account, the Federal Reserve is like, dude, holy shit. John Hammond, he just made a dollar in his bank account. Print one out Pr for him so he can come get it if he wants it. We have it. to keep up with. We have to. Uh, Aaron, the dollar already printing. exists before I put it in my bank account account what do you mean okay it does but where do you think that dollar came from the federal reserve at some point in time what's your point money can be passed around money cannot be created or destroyed <laughs> the law <laughs> of money <laughs> conservation, the conservation of, of money equal, the conservation of equal cash, exchange yeah. I, I went to one of those places where they print money i don't know if they do it at the mint or somewhere else in yeah, my um, basement uh, they do it at the mint. I've been I've been to the mint in DC. It was pretty cool. I, I've been I went to another one. I don't remember where it was, but um. Yeah, I was there they, too. They, they had a us. list of every dollar uh tracked. Yeah. All right, Aaron Baston of Geneva, Illinois. <laughs> he 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 got two thousand dollars. Let's let's. Like all the employees were constantly talking over each other. I like to imagine it goes something like they were this. all like oompa loompas. I don't remember they were what the argument probably was. So I can't it. tell whose side I was on. I don't know what side I'm on either. I'm just here to watch. The magician Whatever gets the side dollar. Is funnier. You know? And he goes, who knows what this is? And then John's in the audience. He's like, a dollar that's totally accounted for by all metrics. And everyone knows that this dollar, all the digital dollars. But it doesn't exist anymore because he just tore it up. So the, the, the Federal Reserve is keeping note of that. Aaron, I'm totally open to this idea that you're bringing up. And, you know, the Federal Reserve certainly considering, like, you know, a bank just to have a balance with the Federal Reserve. But it doesn't exist. John, what was it? Was it like if you build like a radio or like cell blocker, like the FCC like finds you like immediately? Uh, if you make a radar jammer, yes. radar jammer, okay. which is really illegal. Um, yeah, a, fr a friend of mine always felonious. A friend of mine and I always chatted about it because um, you know it's not that hard to make one, but you know you're under constant radar surveillance. Most places are, and if you have a jammer. They know exactly oh. where they're getting jammed from. So you, you'll literally get the feds knocking at your door. And they'll be like, stop that. Uh, they're probably going to arrest you and ask you why you <laughs> why you have a radar jam. I jam the money printing machines. <laughs> this is dark RP. When the harmonica <gasps> comes in on Rat City Radio... Everyone go to your bank and withdraw all your money. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Aaron's trying to say that um, for every digital dollar that exists, so like digital you know, one dollar in your bank account, like dollar in your PayPal, dollars. whatever, that there is not a real physical dollar somewhere to account for that. Not all. It is not one to one. Well, could there be more theoretically than there are? There's a lot of illegal, dirty money out there. Doesn't mean they fucking like lost it. Oh, this money turned to crime. Erase it from the database, boys. <laughs> That's criminal money now. It's dirty. Um, yeah, certainly there yeah, are times. I know, Eric. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why. I so, Aaron, are, are you speaking like in reality or in theory? Because in, you know, in, in reality, I'm sure there is some discrepancy because like, I don't know. I'm sure there's some factors, but in, in theory, it should map one to one. <clears throat> 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, that I, we, we, we've, we've kind of lost my uh, my enthusiasm for the conversation. It, 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 Maybe you should just take some Adderall, and then we'll talk about it again. Dude, if I could, I would. Every every pill of Adderall is kept track by the Federal Reserve. Also. They know how much they're By the FDA. Yeah. By, by Purdue or oh, whoever makes it. Oh, shit. Yeah, Purdue, the chicken farmers, make Adderall. 